The mini sewing machine has a built-in stitch length of three millimeters. If you would like to change your stitch length, you can do it manually. So how I like to do it is I've applied this seam tape, which is sticky on the back, and I just lay it in my seam allowance area there. And I've actually taken a Crayola Ultra Clean washable marker. And these markers are fabulous. So far they have washed out of everything that I've ever used them on. As you can see here, I've taken the marker and I've made little marks on my fabric. Now these are really tiny here. These are one millimeter markings. And it goes to two millimeter markings, three millimeter markings, four millimeter markings to five millimeter markings. And you just pick however long you want your stitch length to be and just make a little mark on your fabric. Then you're gonna put it under your presser foot. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pick one of these. And before you lower your presser foot, I like to lower my needle and just bring it right down into one of those marks that I made with the, the washable marker. And then I put my presser foot down and that's just so it can actually hold the fabric in place while the stitch is being made. And as the needle comes up, now I'm gonna raise my presser foot again and I'm gonna move my fabric forward and before I lower my presser foot, again, I'm gonna lower my needle right onto one of those marks. Lower my presser foot and take the stitch and just keep repeating that. Move my fabric forward, lower my needle right into the mark, then lower the presser foot and take the stitch. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Now this is a very long process, but I just wanted to show you that it actually can be done. Clip my threads here. Okay. Okay, can you see the two stitches that I took right there? Those are both five millimeter stitches. And that's how you would do it for any length of stitch that you would want, whether it's one millimeter, this teeny tiny over here, or all the way up to really any length. So I hope that this video is helpful, helpful for you if you want to change your stitch length for your project. Thanks for watching.